Now to an event that makes dreams come true for deserving kids. In its 11-year history, the Garden of Dreams Foundation has helped more than 325,000 kids who face health and financial obstacles. Their biggest event is the Garden of Dreams Talent Show, and it definitely was a night to remember as some very talented kids hit one of the most iconic stages in the world. Lights, camera, action. More than 125 kids joined together to perform on one of the most iconic stages in the world, Radio City Music Hall, as part of the 11th annual Garden of Dreams talent show. From singing, who says, who says, to dancing, and everything in between. These remarkable kids embodied the theme of this year's event, Beautiful Dreams. For one night, we just let kids be kids. This is the night where nothing's wrong. It's like a dream. Thank you. The talent show is a once in a lifetime experience for kids like 13 year old Spar Shaw. I'm really just excited. I'm pumped. I'm ready to, you know, go out there and bring out my voice to every corner of the hall and just through my music share my story. Sparsh is living with a rare disease called osteogenesis imperfecta, which causes his bones to be extremely fragile and often leads to dangerous fractures. My mom, she always used to tell me when I was little, no matter how many fractures you have, your voice will never break. And for this singer, songwriter, and rapper, performing is what he loves most. What is it about singing that you love? Like once you open your mouth and it seems like it's healing to some, inspiring to others, what is it for you? Galileo said mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. And for me, music is the beat of God's heart. To me, music is something that's really, really deep rooted in our souls and our spirits. It's the perfect way to connect one story to another. Sparsha's inspiring story illustrates the message of the foundation to help these kids shine. Tell me about this organization, this Garden of Dreams. What do they mean to you guys and how important is it to have an organization like this? I mean, the theme and their motto of helping kids that have gone through something special in their lives, they are actually identifying the potential in these kids and putting them on a platform they would have never ever dreamt of performing, right? Like being here at Radio City Music Hall. Is there any way you can just give us a little snippet of what you're going to perform? Save this world so precious, so blessed and so dear. Protect this beauty and splendor, don't let that disappear. Heal the world, make it a better place. What are your dreams for yourself? You talk about dreams. All I want to do, I want to inspire people. Also making her Radio City debut is 23-year-old poet Brianna Hayes. On the stage, Radio City Music Hall <laughs> doesn't even seem real. Yeah, it doesn't seem real. It's, I, I think it's like a once-in-a-lifetime chance for me. Like, you got this. You're going to do this. You're going to tell a world off story. What is your story? What would you say? I feel like my story, it doesn't define me. It's made me stronger. I first got into foster care when I was um, 14 going on 15. I've always remembered feeling like it was my fault. Me going into foster care was my fault. I remember using poetry as my escape. Give me a couple lines. Two minutes to the next train. Funny because I've been going back in my head. All my life I've been running from pain. Every kid here on this stage, they're channeling their inner beauty. And they're just, they're, they're letting it glow in so many lights. It's so beautiful. And as these rock star kids stand up and take their final bows, their smiles are a constant reminder of their beautiful dreams. Last week, the foundation had their Garden of Laughs event, which raised $2.2 million to continue programs like the talent show. If you would like to learn more about Garden of Dreams, just head to today.com. Inspiring. Incredible. And for them to play at Radio City Music Hall. Right, for it's anyone amazing. that would be huge, but for a lot of these kids, you know. one of the biggest stages in the world. Exactly, and let me tell you something. <laughs> these kids knocked it out of the park. That's I mean, the way some of them awesome. sing, some of he, them he dance. He was just on Steve Harvey's Little Big Show. Yes, and had the whole crowd laughing. <laughs> yes, he did. And he then, you know what, and then he flips it and he's oh. doing hip hop or he's doing a poem. That's awesome. That's Wise beyond his years, that's uh, for sure. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.